How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope you guys are doing well. I've had this little EcoFlow River 3 unit kicking around the house and being used as sort of a, a portable battery device for a while now. You guys know I'm huge into EcoFlow. I've got an EcoFlow River 2 standard model. I've got an EcoFlow River 2 Max, and I have an EcoFlow Delta 2 uh, standard model. And I've got those on all three tanks that I run in the house. I got this version uh, primarily so that I would just have like a floater version that I could, you know, use for cell phones or use during, during a power outage or whatever. And was interested in buying it because it is definitely smaller, like noticeably smaller than the EcoFlow River 2, which for a lot of people with especially like nano tanks and stuff like that, uh, this will be of peak interest, this, this reduced form factor. So just to give you a gist of it, here's my hand on top of the unit. I don't have like giant hands or anything, but there's my hand on top of the unit. It's very easy to pick up, move around, manipulate. It's got heft, don't get me wrong. However, it's not like, you know, you're, you're sweating if you have to carry it up a flight of stairs. Not at all. Very, very, like the handles flush to the top of it, which I really like. And it's an ergonomic grab. They've angled the handles so that it's comfortable to carry. Like you could carry this, you know, a pretty good distance and not, not have anything cutting into your hand or anything like that, which is nice. It's got a DC socket on it. It's got two AC plug points. It's got a, two standard USB-A, the kind we're all used to, and then the kind we should all be used to, which is kind of becoming modern standard. It's got a USB-C port here in the middle, and not only can that USB-C port charge out, but you can plug it in to a wall adapter and charge the actual device itself via that USB-C port. However, if you don't wanna do that, this is the standard charge point right here. So it comes with a good, thick, tough uh, um, adapter cord. And then you also have the option to plug this thing into solar if you wanna recharge it via solar, which is pretty cool. Of note, uh, again, this is, uh, this is on the side. So keep in mind, if you're trying to keep this in a tight cabinet space, you're gonna have to have an allotment to plug into the side unless you want to charge via that USB-C port on the front. Actually, I brought over, let me grab this real quick, a tape measure, just so we could throw a tape on it. About 10 inches across, and then we've got about eight inches deep. And then on the front, let's see here, probably about four and a half, Five, five at most inches tall. So not bad, not bad whatsoever. Um, you know, again, smaller than the EcoFlow River 2. So let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in. I've got a jug of water sitting here <laughs> and I've got a little five watt return pump. I think a CJ that's dropped into it. I'm gonna plug that into the front of the unit and we will let it go ahead and calculate how long it could run it from 100%, which it's sitting at now. All right, so I've got that little wave maker plugged in. Quick note, this is actually a three watt wave maker, not a five watt. I double checked it, uh, just wanted to be sure. And this is what I use to mix like five gallons of salt water at a time. So it's very small and compact, but this is gonna typically be used on a, a smaller or an, even just a nano uh, tank. People use smaller wave makers in those kinds of tanks. And if you have an emergency wave maker, it often is three to five watt range. So just to keep the water moving. So this will be a pretty good test, um, you know, for a five watt or a, you know, eight watt uh, wave maker, you know, you're going to, you're going to knock some hours down from whatever this test shows. But here is three watts of wave maker draw. Let's activate now. So you can see that there's 85 hours uh, initially. That's where it's starting from, 85 hours with no draw. So now the draw is taking effect. The machine is measuring the power draw. Looks like, looks like about 32 hours of draw. And you actually have to have five watts of output coming off of it for that number to change from zero. So you have to have at least five watts 
and that will trigger the numbers to start showing the output on these devices. So you can see, because the, the amount of hours went down, it knows it's you know having power drawn from it. So you get about 32 hours with a three watt, you know, very small wave maker that would keep your flow moving in a nano tank. Uh, if you had like a, you know, emergency wave maker positioned in the rear of the tank, just in case of a power outage, not bad at all. And I would just continue to knock a few hours off every time you double that wattage. Um, you know, I would never run like a heater with this. I would never run, uh, you know, some kind of major wave maker. Like I, I wouldn't really, you know, trust plugging like a, like a MP40 into this. I doubt it would last that long on AC anyway, uh, with a, with a battery this small, uh, this battery is definitely built for just keeping flow moving. Uh, and I would, I would definitely try to get the, uh, lowest watt wave maker you possibly could on it just to increase the length of time that it's going to run. But this unit is, this is refurbished from eBay. It comes with a warranty. Right now, it seems like the tariffs have not hit it yet, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's 119 bucks on sale right now, today. Uh, and that's including shipping and uh, the warranty that comes with it. And it comes from the official EcoFlow store on eBay, refurbished. So that's, you know, that gives me some confidence in the unit. That makes me pretty happy with it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a this is a really sleek, good looking option that you could utilize in a very compact space as a, you know, first line of defense in the event that you have some kind of, you know, a disaster with your electrical system or some kind of problem uh, with a storm that hits the grid around you, something like that. Again, first line of defense product and for the price point, really, really good. One last critically important thing I will note about uh, all EcoFlow, River and Delta, as far as I know, probably all of their different battery lines uh, have this feature, but something I wanna note, which I often forget to note when I talk about these units, uh, these units include a setting called the AC always on setting. Uh, and I believe they have an option to keep the DC always on as well. Uh, what this does is if your battery is completely depleted, let's say you're on vacation and you have a power outage and the battery runs for 12 hours, but the power outage is 13 hours. So you, you know, it, it, the battery runs out of juice an hour goes by, but then power is restored. When power is restored, this unit, once it gets up to 5% capacity after juice, juice is restoring the battery power of it, it will then automatically reactivate your power to your device. So this is one of the most critically important points about EcoFlow products. They include this setting that reactivates power after the unit has been totally depleted, but then begins being you know, rejuvenated with battery power. That's a big deal because not every uh, battery company is created equal when it comes to this fail-safe feature. This is a really important fail-safe feature for reef keepers because you absolutely want your pump to be powered uh, in the event that you run out of battery and then the battery charges back up and can provide power again because your power has been restored. If you're gone, you need that thing to turn back on and get that pump moving again. So uh, really cool feature, definitely um, something I wanted to mention. And again, I have a ton of EcoFlow videos out. If you guys wanna look at the app, if you wanna look at you know any other EcoFlow device, if you wanna look at the EcoFlow River 2, which is I'm sure cheaper than this one is right now uh, because it's the last generation, have at it. I have tons of them on my channel, uh, but this is the latest entry, the, the latest baseline uh, essential entry from EcoFlow. And it's really, really good. I've, I've, uh, I've definitely enjoyed having this be my, my utility battery around the house. And at some point I may swap it for that EcoFlow River 2 that's still on my smallest nano tank. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I appreciate it. Have a good one.